So we'll continue at this time with the Reverend Dr. Jamie Mitchell from the new song, Fellowship Church. Some of you might recognize his name because of the news that he made after our legislative body here in the Commonwealth took issue with his opening prayer. And he proceeded to have to defend his prayer, and that also made news. Here is the Reverend Dr. Jamie Mitchell. Shall we pray together? Gracious God and loving Lord, we come before you this afternoon to celebrate the good work of Lancaster for Liberty and for the dozens of people who will gather here today. We are encouraged by the fact that there are people who are compelled to labor on behalf of their fellow citizens and promote the kind of change as outlined in the principles of your Old and New Testament, thus lifting up your righteous conscience. We are reminded what your Holy Word says Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a disgrace to any people. Sadly, our nation stands in disgrace this day because of our willful sin and simply from failing to acknowledge your righteousness. The heavens declare your glory, yet we have dismissed the idea of there being a creator. Human life mirrors your glory, yet we have devalued the life that comes from your own breath. Your scriptures tell us of your glory, yet we have said there is no truth and have silenced your sovereign word, and your people have failed to declare your righteousness in the midst of darkness and depravity, forgive us. Yet with great hope, Father, we believe that if we declare your truth and stand for righteousness, true change should come. We believe your righteousness can beat back the corruption which permeates politics. Your righteousness can reveal truth even though lies are confidently and constantly spoken from the lips of our leaders. Your righteousness can humble the proud and the haughty that refuse to answer questions and attempt to live beyond accountability. Your righteousness can expose the darkness of back rooms where decisions are done in secret and deals are made away from the purview of the citizenry. Your righteousness can rebuke the false accusations of national leaders who try to stir up racial agitation. Your righteousness can make right undisciplined use of taxpayers funds which are sacrificed to satisfy political favors your righteousness can lay bare community organizers who use their charitable trust to encourage criminal activities and vile immorality your righteousness can unite the hearts of political foes and solve a state budget impasse and set us on a course of fiscal responsibility and your righteousness can melt the heart of any abortionist pornographer homosexual, embezzler, and anyone else who would gleefully support and encourage these offenses to you and your character. God, make your righteousness known in all the earth and use your people to make it known. Give us boldness, wisdom, endless creativity, passion, and unwavering steadfastness even in the midst of opposition. But first and foremost, let your righteousness fall on us and manifest itself in us. Let your judgment first begin in the household of faith. Root out our iniquity. Remove our apathy. Revitalize your people to be clarions of your righteousness. And let each of us who admire your righteousness carry the burden to be an announcer of that righteousness. God help us. Finally, I pray for all of our elected officials who desire to see the change come into our nation. We admire their courage to stand up for truth and attempt to hold back the tide of erosion and devastation upon our national identity. Yet I pray that they will do this by pursuing righteousness personally, proclaiming righteousness publicly, and protecting righteousness passionately. Reveal any unrighteousness in them so that they may be right with you and above reproach in the eyes of those who they serve. May they choose the narrow way which leads to life. May they have the faith of Abraham, the courage of Daniel, the truthfulness of Nathan, the wisdom of Solomon, the boldness of John the Baptist, and the diligence of the Apostle Paul. Lord, show them their favor. Place a hedge of protection around them and their spouse and their family. Protect them from evil. We thank you for the privilege of prayer. Bless this day's events for your honor and glory and the pleasure of the one whose name we pray the name of our Son and our living Savior and coming Messiah, the reigning Master, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.